Bienvenidos, damas y caballeros. Soy Jean Luis Alcantara con otro capítulo de los juegos que vamos a tratar. Y estamos jugando ahora el Open Beta de KOF 15. This is a game that I really was looking forward to, like, all over and over again, hearing stories about this new trailer and all the other potential beta stuff that's, like, happening. This was, like, in the heyday where, like, Uh, DNF Duel was doing this huge, huge campaign trying to get people to like try out their games. Freaking, I was watching those videos by people like Gel from Game Babble who were constantly touting and lauding the success of this particular game and how excited he was to try it out. I wanted to give it a shot to see what the heck it was like because me personally, I've had like a very long standing but afar type of relationship with KOF. I'm not really used to like playing the more modern titles. My first step into getting into KOF actually was one of those uh, long forgotten uh, unknown uh, GBA games. Stuff like the KOF Neo Blood and Howling Blood spin-offs that were released for the GBA that were ports of the KOF 2000 and other Dream Match type titles. Although the Howling Blood game that was EX2 kind of went off in its own direction because it features uh, more or less an original cast uh, comprised of other characters that weren't really talked about that much in uh, KOF lore. Uh, I think it was made by a different company entirely at the time. So like that one pretty much a lot of people just wrote off because it was just, you know, more spin-off wacky nonsense in the vein of Fatal Fury Wild Ambition. That was another PSX game that came out back in like 98 or 99, back when like fighting games were trying to do like the transition from 2D to 3D. Uh, that one uh, didn't exactly do the best type of transitions because you still fought in a 2D plane, but I think some of the characters could probably sidestep or whatnot. Now I'm probably thinking about Tekken, but yeah, dude, it's all fun and games until you got a character like Sugumi Sendo doing almost 60% damage combos off a of whiffed move. That shit is fucking brutal. Doubling back to Neo Blood, I thought to myself, there's no way they can just have a fighting game on the GBA where they have this many characters and almost little to no story whatsoever that's not like sparsely written with like two or three cutscenes here and there explaining why people are fighting and having wind quotes and having like dynamic themes that change depending on like whether or not the rounds is like running or not. Because a lot of the songs in that game were sort of really Poor GBA translations of actual songs from the KOF 2000 soundtrack. Shoutouts to the rival team theme, the theme for the freaking Art of Fighting team. Oh my god, and also, for some strange reason, Iori's uh, weird, strange uh, GBA sub-boss theme that was an entirely original composition created for that game. Something about it was really menacing, it just made me think like, yeah, this is one bad dude with a pompadour you don't want to cross. The way I played that game was pretty silly, because I had a Game Boy Advance that didn't exactly have all the buttons working, so sometimes in order for me to like get into like the armor mode that like you're able to get some of your characters into, is that I would have to press my teeth against like the edge of the little device and hope that I heard a sound from the Game Boy SP. Because, you know, those things are notoriously weird when it comes to, like, the sound design. It's, it's only delivered through a mono channel that's, like, on the underside of the machine. You pretty much is, like, being an awkward middle schooler at that time, I really had no access to having a residual stream of income or finding out how to, like, save money in a job or work retail. So in a sense, you pretty much just had to deal. I remember uh, another thing that I would do is that I would also play games like Mega Man Battle Network on the GBA as well. That was another game that was very uh, intensive on using the shoulder buttons, but because I had kind of like already kneecapped the buttons and worn them down here and there, I couldn't really use uh, the L or the R buttons. I'd still have to pretty much munch on them with my teeth and like hope it would like register on the console. My two favorite games were the ones for Mega Man Battle Network 3 and 4 specifically. Those were the ones that I kind of played the most. I loved the story of Lan and Mega Man's relationship and how it kind of like progressed to them being like super tight with each other in like the fourth game and seeing like the weird like change in the art style shift and how things kind of like naturally progressed into him being like a super uber mensch of like the cyber world being responsible and like helpful and like solving other types of like net related crimes and like early 2000s inspired cyberpunk environment. 
But to double back to like our original topic, KOF and its weird way that combos were created in that particular game kind of like stood out as odd to me. Because playing a game like that, the Neo Blood game that I mentioned before, is kind of odd since like, you know, the games in the freaking GBA, they ran at like sub 30 frames. If that, I mean, there was like tons of slowdown. It wasn't exactly the best port. Shit was kind of trash. The music was uh, different compared to uh, the console versions. So there were like a lot of liberties uh, that the game had to take place because there was like so many options for you to like use original strikers and other characters that showed up in the ports of 2000. They just decided to like make the overall frame rate and battle pacing of the game a little bit slower to deal with the fact that you were playing on uh, you know a weaker model. So they did that. Uh, I instead of playing through all of the games in sequence and understanding the greater scope of the KOF story like normal people, I decided to sit down one time when I came home from school and go on like a wiki binge on that good old website that was like responsible for whittling away lots of like uh, young school students' time, Wikipedia, and I just pretty much read like the entire KOF synopsis on that thing. It had like a lot of info that was able to like be quickly processed and memorized uh, down to like a really short like 30 minute read that was full of all these twists and turns and all these arcs and sagas that the games went through. It was like some really amazing shit for someone who was like 14 or something thinking like whoa this shit is deep bro. It's like part of a giant entire universe that's filled with a whole bunch of like other video game characters like Capcom. So then, like, I gradually realized, like, okay, so some of these other characters hail from different properties that are, like, in the same franchise, like, um, Fatal Fury, Art of Fighting, freaking Psycho Soldier, and a whole bunch of other franchises that are, like, in that entire, uh, history that I didn't mention right now. So what are they here for? They're pretty much here to do a lots of fought and round the world, uh, doing matches where it's pretty much, like, three on three. Uh, scores of people occasionally there'll be like maybe one or two people that are like fighting together But those are like special circumstances. It's always been like team-based matches and that's how they get away with doing the whole uh, One or two round fights that you'll see in a lot of other games where it'll be just like two characters fighting in this game It's uh, it's, it's, it's groups of three. So there's always gonna be uh, People fighting until either two or three characters get defeated the person dramatically falls down to the ground and then you get like probably a good two or three lines of like a character shit talking the entire team for winning getting that w and then you continue on with like the character story in the arcade modes but uh another thing that uh, i liked a lot about the kof games especially the home console ports was the fact that smk's music team was on their shit when it came to freaking like providing really good catchy memorable songs you can check out like most of like SNK's library when it comes to really good fighting game themes. They uh, had a lot of bangers on their Neo Geo soundtracks and other types of arranged albums, especially when the teams themselves were doing the arranged tracks. Oh boy, lots of good stuff. Kurin King Ton can, has, and always will be a banger that will forever reverberate throughout my ears and my heart for as long as I live. That is just an iconic theme that will not die. I love you, Terry Bogard. So learning the inner combos of this particular game is taking a little bit used to, because um, I played like 13 a while ago, but uh, I didn't really get too much into it. I, I, I checked it out as like one of those uh, friggin' PlayStation Plus exclusives that I noticed was available for the channel. So like, I, I, I downloaded it. I still have it on my PS3 account. I gotta pick up my PS3 eventually. But, uh, yeah, I've just been, uh, you know, busy just, like, playing on the PS4, trying to get in on the beta type stuff, looking at all the special, um, lessons and stuff that they could provide for me. Uh, let's see, there's, um, lots of, uh, tutorial combo trials to help you get acclimated to this game right now that we're kind of doing, because, uh, whenever I want to, like, go online, especially for this beta shit, I gotta, like, brush up on these skills, because, you know, there's, like, tons and tons and tons of people online that'll just absolutely fucking body you if you just, like, stroll 
still in there without having any hours whatsoever in like training mode so that's another thing that we got to freaking like get used to but uh because it's like a beta type thing you kind of want to see like what exactly the other people are capable of which is always going to be a source of contention because like there's always the, those sort of people that are always going to complain like yo dude if you put in enough time and grind in training mode you're going to feel that much better when you don't drop any combos and you absolutely could potentially perfect somebody when you fight a match but there's not always going to be that person that's going to allow you to experiment in that particular way. Maybe you're going to get matched up with someone who's like on, on, on the level of a decent fighting game player like IFC Yipes or some shit. These people are going to fucking absolutely wipe the floor with you if they know how to fucking do an infinite or some other special move that you have no concept of. Speaking of concepts, I noticed that a lot of the characters for KOF ended up showing up on a lot of other types of fighters growing up. I remember one thing I would do is like when I would be browsing like early 2000s internet, we see plenty of videos posted by people online, including my friend Tyranno98 of characters from KOF and other SNK franchises fighting in a game like Mugen. It was one of those uh, crossover fighting game uh, thingy ideas that uh, kind of just like blew up into like its own sort of thing where there were multiple characters from other franchises. It was sort of like Smash Bros, but like for every single type of fighter. And all of it was like very 2D. It didn't really play a lot like Smash Bros. It did play a lot like King of Fighters though and the fact that like a lot of characters had their sprites and move lists from other games available and still playable through this particular fighting engine so everyone that you could probably think of that has a fighting game sprite or something to play as in this fighter there were plenty of awesome matches that people were able to do trying to figure out whether or not captain america could take on jason from like freaking freddy versus jason or if like omega tom hanks was a capable fighter to beat shinakuma in a one-to-one -one battle don't get me started on how there were like tier lists for those games with their own characters as well Things got a little weird when people started adding characters from other types of like fighting games and boosting their stats arbitrarily to make them stronger than like most other characters, turning them into what uh, they would refer to in the community as cheapies. And then there were others that like defeated those characters, but they were like anti cheapies or god tier characters. Shit got really weird, bro. It's like one of the most balanced yet like unbalanced fighting games you'll ever play. So one time Tyranno invited me to his place so we could play uh, Mugen together. We were like huddled next to like this freaking keyboard uh, with like hands on like one side of the keyboard and like hands on the other side of the keyboard designating our spots like in the game. And I would choose a character from like the large list of characters that he had available on his computer. So uh, one of those that stood out to me was uh, Kyo Kusanagi, I think from uh, KOF 2003. And also Shadow the Hedgehog with his uh, uh, freaking shadow um, sonic battle sprites so uh, yeah I guess origin of the shadow kusanagi name right there in a nutshell but uh, other than that we were fighting against uh, uh, Dio Brando from uh, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure but not just like the regular Dio that people are able to play as which is like the the um post time skip version that was available after uh, certain events happened in the story of the manga itself but the pre-battle version of that particular uh, time skip edit where uh, Dio, at least in the game of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, spoilers for people who haven't played a uh, fighting game made back in the late 90s, uh, still has his coat from uh, like various promotional art and images. So they were able to get that version of Dio playable in the game somehow. And uh, that version became uh, much more popularly known than the version that you actually get to play as in the game proper. Because I think in the game proper, you're only able to play as the other version where uh, he uh, gets uh, more powers due to uh, story related events. The battle raged on and I saw that a couple of his moves from his game were uh, making the transition quite well to this uh, keyboard and mouse setup. Although uh, quarter circle moves were causing me quite the headache because uh, you don't necessarily feel the same uh, motions that you do uh, when your finger is like cramped doing the same uh, quarter circle forward motions that you would do on a normal joypad because you're doing them on a keyboard which is kind of like one of the big gripes that I have of 
using keyboard and mouse configurations when playing a fighting game. I'm sure people have like their own like touch on it because if you could figure it the right way with your hands sitting comfortably on the WASD uh, keys and then using uh, the other four keys on the other side of the keyboard that start with M, and you'd have like a pretty decent one-to-one uh, -one, uh, combo of an arcade layout. Ready? And with that layout came move lists, especially when I visited the Mayfair Triplex one time with uh, my cousin and like my little brother. We were playing a whole bunch of games among them, like KOF 98 and uh, freaking Metal Slug 2, like I mentioned before. Uh, they had like the move lists for the characters in that game kind of uh, sprawled out all over the place on the Neo Geo cabinet. Because there was mostly like uh, little bits and scrawlings here and there about data from uh, freaking Metal Slug. And uh, because of the fact that it was kind of like not really taken care of that much, the writings for said stuff and move lists were kind of illegible. So I pretty much had to like uh, figure it out on my own, how to like beat my cousin playing that freaking game. I initially thought like most of the characters were either like weird palette swaps of Street Fighter characters, or I tried to act like a know-it-all and be like, yeah, I totally remember this guy from so-and-so scene from this anime or whatever. God, those were the times. Well, anyway, I think it might be time for me to fucking get serious about doing these special events and shit like that, because I have been on this particular trial for like, eh, maybe a good like 30 seconds or so, still trying to figure out how to do specials. Hmm, might be like a special castle type thing. Still learning the matchup. There we go. Fuck. I thought it was going to be... Okay, so I got to be a little bit closer for that. Hmm. I'll do the next one. Ooh, super cancels. Yeah. Here's my gem. Wow, that's a pretty long combo. Oh, okay. All right, there we are. Fuck, well, I gotta be a little bit faster on that one. Mm. Okay, advance cancels. Here's the fucking meat and taters of this system. Mm. Harkens back to the stuff I spoke about with KOF 2000. Shit. I remember in that game, I think you could do like, uh, if you hold the buttons down on like the GBA, you could have done like a, a special mode that like allowed you to like take less damage. I think they called it armor mode, where uh, you would take less armor, uh, you would take less damage for the attacks that you did. And it kind of felt like you had like armor of those like SNK bosses where you could literally get hit with like a freaking heavy blow and still like freaking walk forward and just like throw the enemy or whatever. This May Ten Coon guy be mad sleepy. I wonder if he's immune to wake up attacks. Ooh, worked out in my favor, but I don't think that's quite it. I gotta try that again. Hmm. Okay, I think it's because I have to use like these two in tandem. Hmm. Why is this surprisingly difficult? Hmm. Okay, I think I need to do this at this time. Wait, right, I'm getting the hang of this. Huh. Probably doing something wrong with the timing. Hmm. I gotta like roll into it. The thing is, I gotta, I, I'm like positioning my hand a certain way. I'd have to use the Tekken Claw hand for this one. There we are. Okay, it worked. Yeah, get body. And here's another. Get that fucking double tap. Huh. Well, I mean, when it comes to, like, Shune's design, compared to, like, the other protagonists for, like, KOF games, I think, well, I'm not a very, like, big fan of his design, to be real with you. Like, he kind of looks like a Yuji Every Guy freaking anime character that you'll see in a lot of these, like, Shonen-type games, which is kind of par for the course for, like, back in the day, I suppose. But, uh, you know, now that, like, we've had almost, like, 20-something years of KOF to, like, play, it's kind of, like, the designs for, like, Kyo and Iori, as especially classic Kyo, that shit is, like, iconic, my dude, you know? Like, freaking who doesn't want to see this dude wear, like, a fucking school uniform and a headband that ties his hair so when he freaking, like, gets in the heat of battle and shit, it doesn't get in his eyes. Like, yo, it's practical, it looks stylish, it's fancy. I think it's like specially customized because it's got like his emblem in the background uh, for 
not like in the background, but it's like he has like an emblem on his jacket that's like customized. It's got like the flame of Kusanagi or something, because you know, his family reps like that Kusanagi type stuff. I think they're supposed to be one of the, um, well, spoilers for KOF lore, but like I think they're supposed to be the guardians or something of a, of a sacred treasure, you know, one of the three sacred treasures of Japan. Uh, among them is like a sword, or I guess some type of uh, fire-related power that allows him to project fire from his hands, pyrokinesis and whatnot. Oh boy, we're about to get into the online matches. Uh, GG's, no re's, gonna try out the other Cronin character as well. It's another uh, famous character that uh, I won't spoil, but people who are familiar with uh, either anime or uh, KOF lore would get the feeling that you feel like you've known this character somewhere. So uh, let's see if he uh, still uh, matches up to the luster that he's had before. Mm. Fuck, I probably should have, like, gotten back to, like, using Terry. Fucking, I was, like, really good with him in freaking, like, Smash Bros. I used him in that one video that I made a while ago, fighting Sephiroth in the Sephiroth Challenge. Check that out, link in the description. But, yeah, bro, let's see what you got. Hmm. But you just love fucking, like, trying to adapt to characters that you haven't used in, like, such a long time. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember playing, um, KOF Unlimited Match for a while. Freaking, uh... You know, I tried out like the beta for unlimited match. It was a uh, freaking. It was as bad as you'd expect it to be, because you know, someone with less than like seven training hours in training mode wants to just like walk up willy nilly to like a freaking beta where probably tons of people from South America are gonna be fighting you. You're uh, gonna have a bad time, especially since uh, <laughs> a lot of those people have had years and plenty of time to perfect their characters and their mains. So they know how exactly they're going to eat. They're gonna super cancel into their desperation move and nobody wants that. That's gonna be really fucking upsetting. But you know, like Gerald from Core Gaming once said, there are winners, there are losers. There are people that have to get bodied, and there are those people that are the bodyers. A real hammer and nail situation. Jesus Christ. His stuff is like really good. You should go check that shit out. Core Gaming, Gerald, doing God's work right there, teaching people about basic fundamentals of like video game concepts, explaining why stuff like rollback netcode is like very important. I'm glad that this game is gonna have rollback netcode. It's uh, kind of been like an often lauded term that people are talking about like in video games nowadays because, you know, st there are still people that are not really going outside and not really doing much uh, outside of uh, playing online matches and trying to like hang out with their friends that are probably across like the state or the country or something. So it's very, very impertinent that we all have very flawless, great experiences playing online in the netcode that are gonna be useful for freaking having these uh, conductive good matches. Damn. So, uh, I just like freaking just started fucking playing online mode and uh, we're already off to a good start. Just got out uh, the first L of the day. <laughs> well, I tried. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Not really in the good interest of getting grinded right now. Is going to duck the subsequent fade. Let's see what other people are online. Hmm. Let's go check the menu real quick. I think I might have had <laughs> something going on with my options real quick. Hmm. Trying to mess around with like some of the other stuff, seeing if uh, everything is uh, pretty much like decent online. My cousin also hit me up again, wanting to uh, try out a couple matches on this game, so we might be getting into that a little bit later. Infamous Ludwig, go check his shit out. Bro, he was doing like a, a stream. Uh, as of the time of this recording, he was playing uh, Tsifu. It's a pretty good, uh, what is it, Souls-like type game where uh, you play as a martial artist trying to uh, go through a series of trials in order to uh, avenge a fallen master, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'm kind of just like looking at the fucking trailer and uh, looking at the freaking... Uh, by, by the judge of things, it seems like he's trying to avenge someone that was really close to him long ago. So, uh, yeah, I guess he's got to take down a large corporation of some sort doing uh the good old-fashioned uh fortin and uh 
I think the game has a system where every time you lose, uh, time progresses ever so slightly. And I believe you gain uh, some more experience that you're able to use in order to perfect your move set or attacks. Think of playing a game like God Hand, but in the vein of something like Armored Core Last Raven, where every single mission that you undertake kind of advances a certain amount of time to a point where things kind of like will go left for you if you run out of time so you kind of want to uh, manage the time as best as you can and make the most of it in a sense yeah so uh, let me see we're just like trying to mess around with the battle settings here because hmm, I could just like change some of the party members Cause like I got my boy Rio there I know there is K there's Terry the old three reliables. I remember playing Rio a lot in Art of Fighting. I played it uh, when I was a child, uh, freaking uh, playing it on a. Uh, well, I wouldn't say through illegal means. I would. I had the Art of Fighting collection on my PS2. So I fired it up one day. And I, I set the difficulty to the hardest difficulty that was available in the arcade. So I ended up learning how to unironically play that game through the difficulty that most people recommend you don't play it as, because that's like the difficulty a lot of like arcade owners like uh, switch the cabinet settings to in order to uh, get the most quarters out of people. So like realistically, if I were to say put in a quarter for every single time I had taken an L or something in that game, or whenever I got bodied by somebody like Bob in like the Harbor stage. Is that his name, Bob? Uh, the dude was like an Air Force One freaking uh, captain of some sort. I don't know. He had like a military type getup. He was like dressed in all green. Mickey Crowley. That's his name. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Alistair. Holy shit. I gotta fucking play uh, Nightmare Creatures again. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's a really deep cut. Shout out to the people that know about that Majesco adventure and the sequel that came out that a lot of people don't really know that much about, but was, uh, I think had Rob Zombie music in it or something? I don't know. I think he was like a big fan of that particular game, but uh, whew, ah, much more for like later. Holy, okay. And now let's uh, look for another person. Hey, all right, cool. Let's go. All right. Mm. Sounds like a fucking good plan. All right, they got Mate and Coon and shit. All right, I'm gonna just lead with K. <laughs> you gotta fucking write the shit that you know. And uh, I definitely know how to use K somewhat. All right, I do like his iconic black outfit, although at the same time, uh, I am privy to messing around with some of the other uh, colors, if I have the chance, need be. But uh, yeah, let's keep things a little bit simple now. All right, let's fucking go, bro. Got to get fucking scorched. Ooh, okay. Ooh, all right. Mm. Hey. Shout out to the fucking hero remix team. Let's go. K dash. Mm. Come on. Oh. These remixes are as great as ever. A little bit uh, more, um, let's see. So I would say a lot more, I wouldn't say dramatic, but uh, you know, it's, it's giving, it's, it's giving, uh, you know, like light, heavy rocker vibes. I do like the, the original versions though, they felt a little bit more video gamey in a sense. This feels like it's kind of a, it's like an arranged album of some sort. Fuck, all right, come on Rio, make up for this shit. Oh Lord. Uh, another thing that I probably didn't mention earlier, the fact that, like, this game has a thing where you can sort of, like, mash the square or the X buttons to do, like, fucking auto combos and shit. You're about to see a lot of square or X spamming. I think you can still, like, mash square and then, like, occasionally add X or some other button to, like, spice up the moveset a little bit. But for people that kind of just want a no frills, like, quick action heavy type moveset to, like, deal with, you can just immediately deal with that sort of shit right there by just uh, mashing that shit. I know he's definitely mad. I just, like, knocked down his mitten coon. Like quickly. Oh uh, shit, he's in Blue Mary. If he knows how to use it, I'm about to get fucking grappled to shit. Oh god. Fucking immediately with the wake up anti air. Give me a fucking break. Oh lord. Hmm, okay. Why? Get fucking chopped! Oh! Hmm. Come on. Let me get in! Let me get in! Oh, that's not good. There goes like a fucking quarter of my health bar and shit. 
Damn, this guy is not playing around. He knows how to use Barry. Oh, I am in for a bad time. I'm trying really hard. <laughs> Fucking hell, training hour zero for sure. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. Oh no. Oh shit. All right, come on, Terry. Please make up for that L. Let's go. Ooh. Gotta be careful with them. Ooh. They doing the emergency rolls and everything, bro. They paid attention. They understood the assignment. What? Burn up. Oh! They never fucking failed to kick for that. Ah, now you gonna pay for that. Ah, power geyser. Power wave. Oh, fuck. Come on, crack shoot. Oh, no. Shit. Oh. Yeah! Fucking wake up for a knuckle! Ah. <laughs> that wasn't really much of a wake up, but yeah, like I fucking like caught them in that. Oh shit, they better use like real. If they know anything about using real. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, yeah, it just seems like they're just trying out moves at this point. Oh shit. Like a wake up fucking. It wasn't a sure you can, but like, yeah. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, holy show, Koken! Oh! Oh no! This is not looking good for me, fam! I don't know if I fucking managed to like hit him with this shit and fucking win! Oh god! He is gonna be very upsetty! Come on! Gotta be careful with the fucking like whiffing moves and shit! He's waiting for the parry! No! No, sir! I'm a fucking zone! Oh! Shit! No! Fuck! Why did I whiff that? Come on, go back, go back, go back. Yo! Leave me! I feel pressured! I feel pressured! That's what you fucking get! No. Oh my god, I don't know how I fucking pulled this shit off. Oh! Boy luck wins some of the time, I guess! Let's fucking go! Oh my god. Oh, good game though, good game. Shit, I was definitely sweating. Let's Let's go again, bro, let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. <sighs> Shit. If I could have more matches like that, oh my goodness. Boy. I'm already getting the fucking hair pulling experience. <laughs> Feeling like a proper Latin American right now. Oh lord. Wow, let me see that maiden. Can't remember how does he do that kick move? There we go. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm about to hit with those mix-ups and shit. Okay, that's the fucking uh, dragon punch. Mm. Okay. Moves out is uh, taking a little bit getting used to because I remember the last time I played him, I I played uh, KOF 2001 on the PS2. That was back in like 2012. So like, yeah, that's that's a whole lot of time I have to like fucking get used to like this fucking move set again. So um, yeah, still getting to it. Still hitting with me with the faraway attacks. Oh god. Fucking that pillow tech. Please nerf that shit is OP, bro. Oh my goodness. Alright, come on, Rio. Let's get back into like our old business. Mm. Oh! Alright. Fuck yeah! Okay. Oh! One more. Shit. It's kind of scary how, like, KSK just decided, like, yo, in the interest of, like, people's fairness and to make things look pretty cool, we're just gonna make someone's, like, fucking health bar just, like, fucking deplete itself, like, immediately if you hit him with, like, a good square combo. Fucking, in my opinion, auto combos are the devil, because it kind of, like, takes the pressure off of learning actual combos. But at the same time, like, people love that shit, because, um, in a sense, it makes it easier to just, like, style on someone and it also like attracts the interest of people that probably wouldn't have given a fuck about the game in the first place so like yeah it's always like a mix of emotions but see that sort of shit cause I know for sure this guy is definitely he knows his shit with blueberry that's probably the most dangerous character he's got oh my god he keeps us up like an perfect oh he got the perfect oh no Ooh. That's it. I, I, I have to swallow that. Oh boy. All right. See me with that Terry though. <clears throat> Fuck. I gotta get in somehow. Okay. Got my fucking crack wave. Let's go. 
A lot of people really fall for that crack shit. <laughs> mm. Fuck. Cause people see like the fucking special moves and they fucking like shit their pants. Ah oh, fuck. If only I was like a little bit closer with that one. Oh. Mm. Fucking still rolling and shit. Oh, he got me with the fucking roll combo. Oh no. I'm in trouble. If he doesn't drop this combo, okay. Okay, I still have a chance. As long as I manage to get like some hits in, I'm fucking happy. I don't care. <laughs> shit. Oh. Oh no. Fucking got me with the fucking wake up kicks. Ah. Uh, fucking that anti air. Oh, God bless Blue Mary. Good game, good game. That was fucking amazing. Mm. <laughs> Nothing like a good old fashioned fucking joke. Ooh. And, uh, <laughs> I, I know what I fucking like, but sadly, beat. I that's it's not a good idea, bro. Getting grinded, not a good feeling. Trust me, I'm. A, I'm I understand, like, there's a certain, like, skill level that you gotta get to, but when, like, you know people are just, like, a little bit higher than that, you gotta, you gotta bow out gracefully, bro. Mm. Alright, let's see what this guy's got right here. See me with my fucking Terry, my guy. Okay, I'm gonna, like, lead with Rio this time. It's about to be a party up in here! Okay, they're running with the newcomer Isla, and they're also dealing with a uh, Cronin. <laughs> I guess it's like their pocket character. It might be their main, depends, you know, give or take. Really hoping for nothing but good things here. Into the heat of battle, I suppose. Going back to the Pow Pow Cafe. I recognize that fucking song. <sighs> we are back in home turf country. This is an old school fucking KOF. Uh, well, not KOF. It's an old school freaking art of fighting. Uh, freaking art of fighting. Uh, freaking Fatal Fury place. Uh, real ones know the type of shit that goes down in this type of place. I don't see any like handlebars or anything, but it's probably for like a specific character. Uh, <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's have a good clean fight. Hitting you with the fucking uh, Rio shit right here. Mm. Really love this jazzy rendition. I thought I was gonna see King somewhere here. I don't know, she's probably like somewhere off to the side of the fucking battle. Uh, King, uh, for those that don't know, is a uh, character who is a bouncer type. I think you fight her in this particular stage at some point in Fatal Fury. Ugh. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, that's one L I just fucking picked right now. Yeah. All right, come on. Let's fucking make up for it. You got this, fucking. Let's go, Ter. Let's go, fucking K. We can make this up. Let's go. Take that Terry down. Show him what's what. Uh. Oh no. That's definitely not okay. Sometimes I feel like I'm giving away my permission too much by like doing all the fucking jumps and shit. Uh. Alright, he knows the crack shit type shit. Cause I know I can fucking like hit him with like the charging kick, but it's like, eh, I gotta be careful with the runs and shit. Mm. Alright, I got him what's for. We're even, buddy. Mm. Okay. Think he's gonna try to hit me with that Isla now. For anything, I feel like this character plays a lot more like Dalsum in the sense that like she's got a bunch of like far away hitting attacks, so like. If you, uh, if we're freaking, like, far away, she can, like, zone the shit out of you, so, uh, you gotta, you gotta be careful with a character like that, someone that can, like, hit far away, but, uh, when you get fucking hit with a fucking wake-up super attack like that, like, you gotta have to, like, be careful, cause, um, KOF really has a lot of damaging hitboxes, and, uh, it's not really safe to just, uh, let yourself fucking take those hits and stuff like that, you can end up, like, eating a fucking quarter of your health bar if you're not too careful, so, uh, yeah. Fucking come on, let's go, keep the rush down, rush down gang, rush down gang, rush down gang, rest up man, okay, uh, I'm not out of the woods yet, I got one more character that I gotta take down, okay, here we go, you better hit me with that fucking pocket Cronin, dressed to the nines, wearing all red, alright, let's go, is that a shout out to Iori, I will never know, probably not, Mm. They are playing that uh, hero theme though. It's a hero theme remix. For uh, reasons I probably shouldn't mention. It's kind of like spoilers. But uh, yeah. Fucking these two are going at it. Art of Fighting really engaged now. Hopefully I don't fucking take a fucking hit. Fucking somehow get out of this. Oh no. 
Oh, I thought I had a chance. Should have done another super. All right, Terry, you got this one. Goes to all black. Here to attack. I protect and I attack. Hit it with the fucking crack shoot. Yeah. Mm. Fucking give me the crack shoot. Strong. Oh fuck! Hit him with that fucking attack. Oh no. Hey. Fucking takes two attacks down. Ooh, okay. Let's go. Oh. Ooh, oh no. Why did I try that? Oh! Oh lord! Come on. God, if you're there, I am praying for you. Do me a solid and help me out with this fucking match. Oh no. Oh, I gotta play defensively here. Oh, oh my god. The clenching! The clenching! Oh! Oh no! I'm like this close to losing! Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Oh! 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 I am feeling tight, fam! Oh! God damn it! Why? I felt like I was robbed! Ah! Uh, Good match, good match, good match. Uh, <laughs> I really gotta chill with the fucking like crack shoot spam right there. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta know when to fold them. I'm gonna respectfully uh, dip out of this one. Hmm. I wonder how my cousin's doing. Still waiting on that message. Might hit me up soon. Uh, well, uh, let's try out another match. This might be like third one here. Hmm have another good close call oh shit terry we okay he knows he knows real ones know all right uh let me just uh diversify this one all right i'm gonna start off with terry uh fucking k right out the bat he about to hit me with this fucking uh day one k here oh my goodness uh let's see playing another fighter kind of knows stuff like i know uh, <laughs> hopefully I don't get bodied in this one too! <laughs> Wishful thinking! Pow Pow Cafe! Cause that's where the real ones battle! Let's fucking get to it! Ooh, dressed in purple, I'm gonna try that shit out, purple rain. Mm. Come on, what you got fam? Ooh, that's what he got! You know you gotta do that move where you can like, fucking throw the fucking, uh, the flame kick? Mm. I kind of forget that you could do that with K. I just didn't know that like you could throw it as a projectile. The versatility on that one. Ooh. Ah. There we go. Get fucking grabbed, buddy. Oh no. Ugh. Really tried it. Ooh. Fucking wait for like the next time he does that. Yeah. Oh no. Fucking the sweep. I never saw it coming. Oh. That's not good. Okay. All right. K versus K. <laughs> I really have a full plate on my shoulders here. This guy's gonna hit me with all the fucking moves and shit. I'm gonna try to hit him with my fucking basic bitch K right now. Oh no, every time I look at him funny, I try to do that fucking charge move. Uh, gotta be more fucking uh, persuasive with it. Mm. See, like, I fucking know what he's doing. He's like, he's trying to go for like the sweep or the fucking wake up move, but then it's like, I do the same thing too, so it's like, oh, he doesn't expect that. Uh. Fucking shit. Oh, he's doing like EX moves too. That's that's not good. Oh, I think I might have my hands full of this one. Yeah. Mm. He's not falling for my bullshit. He's playing the neutral game. Uh. Yeah, no, I don't think this is about to work out for me. I think that's a rap jack. Uh, what if I fucking do that fucking move? Yeah. Look at I just ate that shit. Uh. Oh my god. Literally, why? Okay. I bet he won't see me with my fucking Rio, though. Alright, come on. Let's fucking do this. About to hit you with this fucking Rio attacks. <sighs> well, he got maximum, but like, I'm not sure how to just like fucking throw up like the super move and shit. Uh, I'm not gonna fucking bother to look up the combo that's like in the middle of battle and shit, because I feel like that would be like inappropriate. I don't think it would even let you pause during that stuff, which is good because it's like, uh, fucking, 
you know, most games they have like a tournament mode situation where it's like you can't pause the game unless like you pause it like maybe once or twice to like avoid having issues where people like hold down the button in the middle of a battle and that would be very uh it kind of like detracts from that sort of thing because it's like you're in the middle of like doing battles and shit like that and it's like you don't want to fucking stop the battle just so you can learn like a command list that's a uh, very unbecoming of a battle and shit Ugh. all right uh, yeah that's another l to add <laughs> can't spell g lewis without l's uh yeah oh good shit i guess <laughs> amazing k i'll give you that Ugh, I had absolutely no chance. I am good, fam. <laughs> Woo. Oh, let's go back to the menu. Mm. I want to mess around with those colors and shit. I know I had like a purple K. Okay? I want to fucking change that. You can change like colors and shit like that. So, mm. let me see. Is there anything else I can like mess around with? Let's still try to go for like the OG type of move. Let me just uh, mess around with the um, little uh, settings and shit like that that they have. Because you could like. Uh, type in a custom thing, so I guess I'll just mess around with that a little if I make like a custom freaking intro and shit make a custom uh, saying You know, I want people to know a little bit more like the personality before we get into battle. You know, no harm, no foul Throwing in the shameless plug because you already know if you want to support more stuff patreon.com slash Alcantara. My guy, send the support. Though in this case, it might be easier to just send the fucking YouTube because, uh, why not? Gotta keep consistent with the brand, you feel me? Always a good idea to always, like, keep people's more eyes on your page and stuff. So, uh, yeah, let me see how I can, uh, mess around with that particular saying. YouTube.com slash Gene Alcantara. Give me one sec. All right, done. Perfect. All right, let me mess around with some more settings. Hmm. Most of the stuff done here. Let me mess around with something else. Hmm. Probably do a couple more matches. That seems like fun. I would enjoy that. Yeah, let's go with this team. Hi. Giving out the somewhat free smoke. Who's next? Hopefully someone I can beat. <laughs> yeah. Had like the worst luck so far. Play like some a lot of like legit freaking like KOF players and shit like that. Let me catch a break for once. Hmm. Okay. Eh. Sounds like a battle. Oof. They got Blue Mary in there too. Alrighty then. Hmm. Just keep it like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be more or less like a doubles match. Let's see. <laughs> I bet it doesn't get too bad. I think, like, oh, I can take on your people. I'm a better player than you. Like, mm. I don't know. Some people will feel some type of way about that type of shit. Let's see. Mirror matches on the low. The place where dreams are either made or crushed, Pop Out Cafe. Round one. Ready? Go! You gotta wait one because he knows what time it is. Oh shit. Hmm. Okay. Fuck. Gonna be a little bit less active to like try to rush towards him because I feel like he's already expecting that. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, there we go. Oh! Okay, got him twice. The fact that it worked like three times is like some bullshit. Mm. Whoa! Oh, let's go! Oh, so <sighs> I don't know, I'm still in awe about the fact that like that shit worked like several times. Okay. Fucking hell, this guy's probably thinking like, yo, let me just fucking like exit out the match. Cause the nigga's like hitting auto combos and shit. Mm. Try like yo, two can play in that game. We're in the white T Terry. Fresh color scheme design. Oh shit. What did he do? He made it easier for him to like attack and shit. Like, oh, hit him with that special! Mmm! 
Oh no. Get your book off! Fuck. <sighs> I thought I had a chance. Uh oh. Terry on Terry, let's go! Mm. Okay. Mm. Honestly, if this guy knows what he's doing, he could probably go either way. I like to believe I have the advantage though, because it's like I got health advantages and like I know some of his like moves and shit. But it's like I spam them like every so often that it just like becomes annoying to see. Ah, still works though. Hmm. I don't know. Hopefully I don't feel like I'm robbing him out of a match now. Stand to a ground. Ready? Go! Let's see his Mary. Well, he's not like the other guy. Mm. And the fact that like, he knows how to do that one move is like, mm, a little concerning. But here we go, go to this fucking ultra! Yeah! Power strike! Mm. Oh! The fucking hit! The combo into the fucking knuckle. Oh. <sighs> well, that that was that was an amazing match. Still, uh, it's a little one-sided though. Not gonna lie, I, I I had the advantage on that one, like to the point where it was almost like unfair. So like, if he wants to do the run back, like I'll give him that. Just just give me a sec. I'm trying to see. I think like my my cousin like hit me up earlier, but like yeah, let's fucking let's go again. No harm, no foul. I'll give you that run back. Man's definitely tight after I hit him with the fucking auto combos. I am pretty sure. I would feel the same way, not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Round one. Ready? Go! What you got, fam? Mm. Gonna try playing neutral for once. Uh. Sorry, gets me. Mm. Uh oh. Ow. Ouch. Mm. Every single time he looks at me funny, I'm gonna just fucking combo, bro. Mm. Shit. Oh god. Fucking missed the sweep. He knows. Ooh! Got him! Ooh! Mm. Oh no. Oh shit, now it's his turn. Ooh. Ouch. Okay, that's the thing. The counters do more damage than usual, because of course, real life writes the plot. Ah! You fucking grabbed! Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good match, good match, good match. Just gotta have that fucking grit. Mm. Okay, I'm at like less than half health. This is probably not gonna be a good match for my fucking Rio. If he gets like several combos off of me, it's gonna be really bad. Mm. Trying really hard to just like avoid getting hit. Mm. Sometimes offense is a better defense than defense itself. This could either go either way! Oh, oh lord. Relentless with the fucking hits. Little by little, just like wearing myself down. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. Fuck. I was like this close to taking him down still. Oh, no matter. I'll probably take him down with Terry. It's not a big deal. You just hit him with like maybe one or two moves here and there. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. Oh! Oh god. Mm. What? Oh shit. Oh! That was close! Damn, he was about to boop me! Okay. How's his Mary? Fucking try to like do like a fucking immediate super is stupid, but if it worked, it would have been even stupider. Hmm. Every single time he tries that shit, I'm just like, 
Provide the link. Yo, I can I can block that. That only works for some people though. Can't really be cocky about that sort of shit because I get cocky and then I make some unsafe moves and then I got fucking rocked. Ooh. How the fuck did she do that? Oh shit. Oh no. Oh! Oh no! Oh shit. Gotta hit him with like the fucking faraway moves. Oh! Oh no! Ooh! Oh! Oh! God bless that low kick! Oh! I was like this close to getting faded! Uh, that was still an okay match. I still felt like the hairs on the back of my neck stand out. Hmm. Gonna look for a different match now. You already got the two run facts. And the, this is fine, bro. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's try them out. Okay, this one's got Cave Lumiere and Antonov. That's a new character. I I get the assumption that he's probably a grappler type. Hmm. Okay, so Blue Mary right off the bat. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we were working with here. I would assume that I probably shouldn't get too close to that Antonov guy because if he starts hitting me with like 720 power drivers or some shit, I'm going to be in trouble. That's not going to be that good. And it'll be very, very bad for me. Absolutely terrible. White haired Blue Mary. Oh my god, I get pain vibes from like Final Fantasy, but the thing is, like, <laughs> they still gotta wear like the gothic outfit and shit. It's not close enough. But I wonder if there's a color edit mode for this game. Well, whenever it comes out anyway. Well, it should be coming out soon, but like, yeah, please be excited whenever this game comes out. Try it out. See what you all think. Hmm. A little early in a video like this to be like fucking repping that shit but like yeah you already know the vibes over here uh the rush down attacks are very appreciated any unsafe moves are quickly capitalized on and fucking countered gosh mm. okay. mm. okay. K, 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 K. I was gonna try to do like that one move where I would like throw the fireball and then like kick and shit, but like, oh god. Here we go. I guess this Antonov guy is supposed to be like the new champion of like KOF or whatever since he's got like a championship belt. But like, yeah, since he's the guy throwing the new tournament, you guys gotta like watch out for this dude. I mean, I'm fucking like turning him into mincemeat and shit, cause like. Where the fuck's playing as him is probably not like familiar with like his moveset yet. But when he starts fucking getting into his bag, I'm pretty sure he'll be like a, a fucking problem. I'm just like going through with some of the fucking auto combo moves. It's uh eh, a little one-sided, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. Maybe if I ran into like a different person who knew how to use Antonov, I'd fucking be like <laughs> crawling in fear of this dude. But like, yeah, this guy's gonna hit me with either his main or his fucking pocket K right now. So we're gonna give that a shot. Oh shit. Mm. You almost had it, Billy! Oh god. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. Mm. Oh! Ow! Mm. Oh my goodness. Lord. Oh, I gotta be careful. Oh no. K, don't die. Oh. <laughs> I just had to jinx it. Oh, well, I don't know. I guess some of my other characters will probably make up for that ish. <sighs> Come on, Rio. Fucking avenge me. Let's go. Hmm. Ooh. Here we go, fucking hit him with the fucking Hyoshokan! Let's go! Ooh. There we go! Another one bites the dust! Ah. But yeah, fam, that was um another 
Uh, good strike, you know. Uh, yeah. Adding another feather in my cap, I guess, like a W. I mean, sure, the guy probably like is unaware of like how to use the characters and shit like that. So I guess I, I, I it's it, it's not really like a giant W. It's more like a lowercase W. But at the same time, everyone's training hours are technically oh, yeah. zero in this case. I'm gonna give him the run back because he deserves that Round at least. Ready? Mm. Go. Try again. Freaking holy shit. Guys, remember, freaking, uh, at the time of this recording, freaking, uh, Valentine's Day is around the corner. So if you can, try to find yourself a Blue Mary or someone else that is compatible with you. Make sure to always, uh, be out there on the lookout. Don't ever give up on love. Because love is definitely going to find you regardless of whether or not you try to give up on it. Because life is inevitable in that way. And, uh, I hope... Whoever you do end up with is someone who's not going to treat you like trash and isn't going to hit you with a 17 hit super combo as soon as you whiff punish a move. I know there's a saying somewhere there about crazy girls, but trust me, that's not the type of pussy you want if you're constantly having to like throw hands after every single disagreement. It just doesn't sound mentally healthy for you. So uh, yeah, pursue better opportunities. Mm. Just like, I gotta pursue a different alternative option after taking that L from the Blue Mary. Uh, I guess he's uh, definitely picked up some steam. I'm gonna try to see if I can hit him with some basic bitch freaking uh, auto combos and shit. Uh, the fact that, like, the fucking jump into, like, the super combo worked is kind of stupid. But, like, yeah, I just... I, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth. I won that one. Uh. It's so fucking dumb. Alright, let's see, he'll give me more of a match this time with his Antonov. Hopefully he's had time to, like, practice it somewhat. To be honest, I don't think that many people have learned how to use Antonov properly, unless, like, they spent, like, hours with the game. I mean, I've only been doing, like, a couple battles here and there, so the chances of you trying to learn how to, like, use him and shit like that are pretty, like, low at this point. He keeps falling for the fucking super combo. He's got to be careful with that. That run into fucking square is not a good matchup. I'll tell you that much. A lot of people falling for that shit. Usually it's like the lowest common denominator. It's people that know their shit are going to like make their own combos. And he got lucky. All right. Fucking he got a hit from me. Cool. All right, now I'm gonna just uh, use my fucking pocket Terry. That's the one that I've been trying to guard this whole time. Let's go, my guy! Mm. Mm. There we are. Mm. Yeah, that's the logical result. Now time for his uh, pocket freaking K. All right, let's go. Purple K, purple rain. A lot of these people are Prince fans. Uh -oh. hmm. All righty then. Ooh. Shit. Ow! Oh! Okay. See, I think another thing that people would probably try to, like, work on better is the fact that, like, they gotta just fucking, like, not be as open. So then when I fucking body them with the fucking, like, mashing square into, like, the super cancel and shit, they're not gonna fucking fall for that. Uh, well, yeah, he's got the two run back. He's already got two from me, in my opinion. I feel like that stagnates people's potential if, like, they just keep getting grinded by, like, one character for a long period of time. So it's, like, in his best interest if he, like, learns how to fight, like, other people before, like, hitting me up again. 
Because, you know, like, even though I, I want to call myself, like, a good player or anything like that, but it's like, uh, I'm, like, slowly learning, and I understand that there's, like, a certain skill gap that uh, certain people have, so it would be better if, like, he just understands, like, uh, basic, like, guarding tendencies and shit like that before, like, he hits me up in that particular sense. Who else wants, um, hmm, okay. Yeah, let's go with that one. I see, like, a Hong Kong name somewhere. Something something HK, so, uh, mm, not really apprehensive about that, but at the same time, I understand, like, this guy probably knows some things. Mm. Vice FGC. Hmm, familiar. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere, but, uh, yeah. Let's fucking go. If someone's a member of the FGC, let's fucking go, buddy! Oh, shit. Uh, well, it's an honor. Uh, yeah, let's have this duel. Round one. Ready? Go! Watch him! Ooh, okay. Try to do the fucking power- He knows power charge? Okay. That's a move that I don't know, so I'm gonna assume that's a little <laughs> uh -huh for me. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Mm. Try to hit me with a power dunk. You understand that that's a move that- Strikes up and down, so you could kind of use that to like hit someone with an overhead. Hmm. There we go. Get fucking punished. Okay. Ooh. Stop doing that move. Oh no. Ooh. Oh shit. Ooh. Ah! Fuck. Just had to hit me with a low punch. Ugh. All right, let me see if I can make up with that. Now or never. Ready? Go. Come on, K. Mm. Oh shit! Fucking stunned me. Wait, how the fuck did he get that fucking power tackle move done? Mm. Oh no matter. Just go right through him. I feel like there's a certain place in hell for people that fucking let their fucking uh, outro like taunts like continue to last and shit in fighting games and shit. Mm. Probably gonna be upset about that. Ooh. Oh. Oh shit! Ow! Whoa. Oh, let's go. Oh fuck, I tried to go for the special. Oh no. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, did I get a rage quit? Oh no! Oh! Did he really get that upsetty about me fucking hitting him with that? Oh my god! Come on! Have some fucking dignity! Ah! He ran from the fade! But no, if anything, I'd like to believe that there was like a real disconnection issue. Uh, freaking, he doesn't seem like a really bad guy. Like, check him out. Like, he's got some pretty good stuff. Uh, his channel's uh, right there in the description. Check him out. Back into it with another one. Can't really afford to rest on our laurels in that particular way. There always has to be like another type of option that we have here. So yeah, let's take advantage of that particular thing. Oh my. All right. Let's uh, we can try to search for another option here. Who else could want that particular instance? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's go with this one. Uh, mm, okay, run over an answer now. I have an option for. I'm gonna just stick to. Fucking K and Rio. The better the beast that you know, I still gotta learn how to do that one move where you can just like throw a fireball and then I could just like kick it. Hmm. I don't know. It'll probably be a lot easier than I think it would be. It just seems like you just like freaking press like quarter circle forward circle. I mean triangle and then like circle to like do the kick thingy. Or maybe it's like X. I'm not sure it's one of those two. Hmm. Anyway, he about to hit me. I'm about to hit him. With my day 40 something K. Not necessarily trying, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway because why not? Mm. Okay. Oh, nice. Mm. 
Okay, still trying to do fucking keep away combos and shit like that. Not exactly working out in my best interest. Mm. Ooh. Oh! Ooh! Fuck. <sighs> okay. I'll, I'll have to take that one. Probably I could like get better with like the other two characters. Monrio! Make up for the best of it! I know you can do this! I have faith in you! Mm. So I, I know that they can do this. I gotta fucking capitalize on their mistakes whenever they make a mistake. Freaking mash square when I need to. Fucking do special when the opportunity is perfect. They probably won't say it. Oh, you just like go forward. Oh, okay. And they're really pertinent as Terry. Oh. On a roll here. I haven't seen this in like a good like 20 something minutes. Mm. Alright, you've drawn out my fucking pocket, Terry. Let's fucking go, my gay. Oh. Okay, definitely capitalizing on that shit. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no! Fuck. This might be a hammer and nail situation. I'm gonna have to, like, quit out of this one. Ooh. Oh! God damn it. I was, like, this close. Oh. Mm. Oh no! What? Oh! Ooh. Ah! Fuck! Oh yeah! Good shit, bro. You have an amazing Terry. Good game. Good game. Good game. Oi! Well, in course, this guy was very relentless with that shit. <laughs> That's enough for me. I know when I've been beaten. It's like that fucking scene in like Hooked on Oken. It's like, oh shit. You know, like <laughs> when Ketchup freaking just like freaking dices like the main copter. Just like, yeah, no one to fall them. Hmm. How about this one right here? Oh. Hey, Terry, Rio, Blue Mary. Cool. I don't really try to do no, like special matches or anything like that. Just gonna try to like make it as like decent as possible. I do want to see what their Mary is like. I wonder what their Mary is like. I hope this Mary doesn't crush me like the other Marys were crushing me. Oh, got my fingers crossed. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's make another win for these people. Round one, ready, go. Mm. Try. Oh damn, she is not letting it happen. Ooh. Gotta really try my darnest here if it'll let me. Ooh. Oh no. That's terrible. Ooh. She knows I'm just doing auto combos at this point. Oh fuck. Might even try to get even more bold with some of her moves. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I had like no chance. Oh god. Freaking, all right, freaking second time's the charm. Let's hit her with a K. Go hit him with that particular K. Fucking do rush down attacks and shit like that. But the thing is, like, if she understands that all I'm doing is just like fucking auto combo, she's gonna realize that and just like capitalize on that shit. <sighs> Every single time I look at her, funny, just fucking hits me with like a fucking rush attack. Oof. Yeah, I really don't believe this guy knows fucking Blue Mary, bro. Oof. I'm smart, I'll just end the match right now! <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm getting revenge for all the other blue mirrors that I stomped on the way. <laughs> you know, they say it's not really like the battles you fight, but the friends you make along the way. Maybe my Terry will make up for that? <sighs> I mean, I'm, I, I'd like to believe that I'm decent at Terry, but it's like I understand how to do certain moves. But I have like these tells that people can just understand like, oh, that's indicative of like some other bullshit. Mm. Oh, they're probably upset about that shit. Yeah, the fact that I got like a fucking super off of that. And I can just like hit it with a super and it's like, oh, it kills. Mm. 
Oh, they can do that shit too. Ooh. Oh, no. Good thing it's faster. Oh, there it goes. I fucking take down their Blue Mary. After all this time. Well, that happens. They're probably. Their tail is probably not that good. Mm, depends. Oh. Yeah, two can play that game, buddy. Oh, shit. Him with the rising tackle. The thing is, because he does that, it leaves him open to, like, the fucking uh, auto combo. And it's not good for him, bro. Mm. He might understand this eventually, but the thing is, like, because he's always trying to get forward in front of me, I can just, like, capitalize on that. If I have the wherewithal to do that sort of shit. Oh, God. Ooh. How's it looking pretty good? Ah! Oh, fuck. I just had to leave myself the open for the fucking burn knuckle. Uh, awesome match! <laughs> oh, you can say that again. Duck in the fade. Mm. Okay. If there's any other matches around here. Hmm. Should we wait? Let me just uh, mess around. Hmm. Don't want to change anything on the menu. Hold up, let me just look at my settings a little bit more. Uh, there aren't any ranked matches, which I find, like, odd, but there are other matches that I can do which are going to be okay. I mean, that's fine, at least. I would just prefer some sort of, like, other types of uh, customizability, but I know that there's already plenty of options that are pre-made that we have to, like, deal with, so, yeah, we gotta, like, make do with that. If anything, there's a quote that I'll probably like somewhere around here. Hmm. Just tinkering around with some more settings, see if I could change probably more character type stuff. More stuff involving the customizability of characters in that particular instance where I can choose what character I want to use for like playing a uh, casual mode and whatnot. Hmm. No, I'm onto something here, just give me a chance. Uh, okay, should I just change like whatever the fuck I was saying again? I mean like I'm still down for it, like I'm fine with it. Hmm. No issues whatsoever, gotta rep that brand like I said earlier, just keep that shit tight. Want to see more stuff? YouTube.com slash Gino Cantara. Always show support. Gotta show the love, my dudes. Okay, let's go back into like freaking uh, support mode and shit. Hmm. Who else? Ah, any new challengers? Hold on. Oh, okay. Hmm. Might have accidentally said no by accident. Hold on. Maybe I'll run into them again. Ooh. Hmm. Is it like the same person? Hold on. Huh. I thought I know I'm trying to get a match with something. It's the match. The thing is like, I'm not sure if this beta allows you to just like, uh, get into a lobby with your friends or something. You might have to do that like through casual match somehow. Just pray that you guys get into like that particular match together. I know room match is like an option too. Hold up. No, no, like casual is like my main thing, but I also would like to play uh, online. So like with friends or something, make it interesting. This is an option for that. Here we are. Okay. Yeah, if I could just get in a room with my boy, we could do a couple of matches that way. These settings look okay. More or less, just gotta change uh, the name of the room and whatnot. Make it easier that way. I already got my characters itch -o. Just gotta mess around with some other setting that I probably forgot about earlier. Hmm. Let's see, because I think it's like the amount of matches that it's supposed to have is like three, which is fine. If I could choose like a name for this place. Or maybe like a code or something like that. If I gotta put in a code. That would be fine. If they had like a some secret code, hmm, I'll just uh, put that in then I guess. Let me just mess around with this real quick. Give me one second. Now that that's taken care of, we can just focus on some more casual matches. Hmm. Alright, back to another search. Let's see if we find this time. Hmm. 
I don't know, so far, like, these matches have been either, like, hit or miss. There's either someone that knows what the hell they're doing with very peculiar characters, or it's someone that's probably just mashing square as much as I am, and probably not having as much as good luck with it. But yeah, I'm still trying to get the freaking whole, uh, punches and kicks thing down to it. You know, uh, experimenting with certain combos and whatnot. I gotta learn like a couple more special moves to like use the characters properly and whatnot because I'm pretty sure that the the potential for you to do more damage is there if you choose like not to do an auto combo you choose to do uh, damage with like combos that you can just like um, patch from like one signal to like another oh, one yes. one move set to another. Round one. Another rare Islo player. Ooh. Not necessarily getting on my nerves, but those keep away attacks are a little dangerous. I gotta do something about that. Whoa. Definitely consistent with that ish. Mm. Uh -oh. Really getting newbie vibes from them. Whoa. Ooh. Oh no. Come on, let me just get under. Why won't you let me in? Oh! Whoa! There we are. Oh. The fucking... The fucking mix-up right there. Oh, Lord. Okay. Let's have another one. Fucking hell, hit me with the sleeper moves. Okay. Off to a great start, dude. Yeah, can't sleep on May 10, Coon. He may be sleepy, but yo, <laughs> he'll really show you how to wake up if you let him. Mm. Oh, fudge. Mm. Those fucking moves that I gotta be careful with. Mm. Uh oh. Ooh! That was close. <laughs> The only proper way to fucking deal with that one. Mm. Oh! Oh no. Oh! He really tried it! Oh fuck. Ah! God damn it. I thought I had something there, but I was wrong. Oh. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe third time's the charm. Come on, Terry. Help me out here, bro. We got like two more we gotta fight. He's already in decent enough health. Oof. Damn, something tells me this mate and coon is a little bit heavier than I expected him to be. Oh. Might have to run from this fade. Oh no. Ooh. Why? Ooh. Oh no. Ah! Fudge. Ooh! <laughs> Fucking sleepy mated cool with the wake up moves! <sighs> oh, he's supposed to be like a, a follower of, of Master Tung Fu Ru? Oh. Oh, shoot. Damn. See, it's like a really small world with the way like a lot of these like SNK characters are like related to each other and shit like that. It's like, yeah, I guess um, some of these other characters have uh, some relation to uh, the older Fatal Fury cast. Although, due to uh, <laughs> the way the world works, you can't necessarily have them, like, be the same age as their counterparts in, like, those other games. So that's why you get characters like Ryo and Juri and King and all those other characters from Fatal Fury being a bit younger than how they're supposed to be in, like, their own, like, source material games. Oh my goodness. Please don't wake up, Dragon Punch. Why did you wake up, Dragon Punch? Ooh. Golly! Very relentless with these moves. Keep up game strong. Keep away game strong. Ooh. He's hitting me with those spray baits. I get another one of those. Ooh, it might be the end of me. Can I fucking come back from this? 
Oh, fudge. Hmm. I says you got it. Hold on. I just uh, get my Rio out of the woodwork. Hmm. I just to taste that kill again, Rio style karate. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Ow. Nice combo. Have to go for the fucking tech throw. Ooh. Damn, she even with the fucking <laughs> no walk freaking tried to do the combo right there. Oh no. And one of those charge type moves too. Oh, and she can dive from that. Okay. Damn. Fucking drop kicks galore. That won't do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Ooh. Oh. Ah, oh, fudge. Those fucking hands, bro. She's getting very hands on with me. Very handsy. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta do something about those keep away attacks. She has range. All right, but luckily, like, uh, Terry can get right in front of her, although I don't think that's going to help in this case. Uh, if she gets close, then she can be, like, at optimal range, but then again, she could, like, I wonder if she could, like, grab people from far away. That would be pretty bad. Almost like, uh, that one character from uh, Under Night and Birth. You know, the teeny bopper with the giant, uh, bopum sockum thingies. Uh, I think her name was Mika, something like that. Micah? Hmm, Micaiah. Okay, took that one down. Alright, let's see. See that sleepy maiden coon? Damn, fucking maiden players are odd. Okay, I got the invite from my cuzzo. Alright, I'll probably eat. Yeah, just go have to <laughs> duck that one for now. Uh, sorry for the match. I really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah, my definition of fun is a little bit more uh, versatile in this case. I would like to play some more matches with uh, the infamous Ludwin. You can check him out at his channel, Infamous Ludwin, on YouTube.com. Check him out. Real good stuff. Uh, watch that Chifu vid. Tell him I sent you. Let me just get a couple more things straight over here with this menu, seeing how uh, this room stuff works. Should be fine. Okay, we are uh, back on schedule. Let's uh, start the show. All right, cool. Wow, into the heat of battle we start. Okay, uh, is there a button that I need to press or something? No, I think it's just gonna automatically connect me at that point. Gonna have some good, clean, salt-free matchups now. Just, uh, trying to get the room ready for sure this time. Cause uh, I got <laughs> my finger kept slipping, trying to, like, figure out, like, oh, do I have to just, like, keep it pressed? Or do I have to, like, unpress it or something? But, uh, yeah, just gonna uh, add my characters and whatnot. Got yeah, my people throwing it up there, switching it up with uh, the new character. Gonna see how she works and such. Gonna give her my shot now. Come on, Isla. Yeah, she's gonna be my third for now. Nobody ever expects Isla. Alright, so, met him with this uh, freaking Rio and K. Oh, damn, he already expected it. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Might have some mirror matches up in here. All right. Uh, let's see. I mean, like, he's played some KOF before, but mind you, remember, it's been, like, a while since playing KOF 98 back in, like, 2005 or so. Oh, man. Let's go. Mm. Yeah, we're just straight mashing down. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're like around, we're, we're just trying to like figure out more or less like what they have to do with the characters and whatnot. Trying out what moves are safe, trying out what moves are unsafe. And mashing that square button. Mm. Occasionally trying to get with the right combo, so that's always good. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. My goodness. Why did I know he's got it? Oh. Man. Okay. Ugh. Yeah. Player one won't give up that easy. Ooh. Okay. Again, big okay then. Let's see how his K is. Oh, he's got the white K. Ooh. Okay. 
fire outfit, but I. Mm. I'm just gonna try to hit with like those keep away attacks. Maybe try to get in occasionally. Try to go with like the rush down moves. Mm. Straight rushing down. Ooh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Fucking hell. Every time I fucking try to get close, it just sucks. Ugh. Okay. There we go. Land to the lucky fucking blows. Oh! I hit with a fucking grab. I was not expecting that shit. I should have just mashed. Oh lord. Alright, time for the next battle. At least there he does against Mikey. I picked the purple one. I paid attention. Mm. Oh fuck. He has that one move where it's like a grasp. Mm. Ow. Oh no! <laughs> Powerful move! Oh, there we go. Ouch! Uh, fucking one inch punch, baby! Okay. Uh, let's see his Terry then. Yeah, Charles Black Color Scheme Terry. Mm -hmm. The BT, as I call him. Fudge. Ooh, there we go. Charge kick. Like every time I try to go for that one move, uh, I really gotta stop doing that. I feel like I'm just like throwing out supers. It's gonna make it obvious. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Because what I try to do right now at this point, because like we know that we, we're, we're doing like either weak or like small attacks, and we know that we can like fucking go into like those other attacks, but then we understand that like if we have super gauges or something, we can just like mash square. And it's like, ugh. You know, like, um, it makes it hard to, like, see the, the versatile movesets that a lot of these characters have. But you gotta remember that we're at, like, such, like, tier one, like, boots on the ground beta type, like, uh, skill levels that, like, at this rate, any hit is just fucking fine. Uh, damn, he got me with the fucking trip up move right there. Fucking the low high mix up. All right. My turn to show him some of the power of the Isla. So I'll fight again. What if you fight a girl? Okay, wait. Right. Got that one move. We should just throw shit. Okay. Ow. Shouldn't have done that. Ooh. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Fucking no looksies mix up. Freaking high combo punch. Let's go, Isla. Oh god, she's one of those insufferable Twitter people, isn't she? Oh my goodness. Damn. Okay, she's trending on Twitter. Oh my goodness. Someone get her an interview with Keemstar. Oh lord. Alright, let's do this again. Oh, okay. Gonna end the match, I bet. Okay, meeting adjourned for now. Probably try some other match. Maybe he's trying to switch up his other character or something? Hmm. Okay. Gonna go for Cronin, uh, my dude, uh, Antinov, and also Blue Mary, because, you know, we gotta, we gotta spice things up. We were doing a lot of battles before regularly, but now it's, uh, time for something else. Mm. Now, my view, like, <laughs> the last time I tried Cronin, it didn't end very well. Maybe I could probably, uh, restart it better this time. Better show him the powers of a grappling type. I have like some type of like free election when it comes to like using grapplers and shit. So uh, <laughs> hopefully that uh, things end in my favor. <laughs> uh, yeah, gonna start off with Blue Mary. I'm not that very good with Blue Mary just to like put things off. Uh, hopefully my square mashing skills will make me be superior for this chance at least once. All right, let's try another battlefield. Where should we go this time? Hmm. I don't know, I'm thinking like one of those like big battle places. Mm. Nothing wrong with like the freaking beach. Mm. Okay. We can try now something a little bit different now. Gonna try to see if I can probably throw him off a bit with like some of my other uncanny characters. This is a cast that I wouldn't really pick personally, but uh, sure, why not? Mm. All right, White Pants Blue Mary, let's go. Ooh. Still low-key upset that he would hit a girl, but it's a video game. All right. Mm. Oh my goodness. Freaking your white shoes are no match for me. 
Okay. Oh shit. He knows how to do the charge kicks. Oh, he found out. Oh god. Hmm. That other kick is other pretty good too. Still not sure how to do all that. Oh well. Uh oh. Ow. Ooh. Ouchie. Ugh. Yo, Grams. Swear to God, those fucking kicks, those jumps are gonna be the death of me all the time. <laughs> That's a really bad noob habit I gotta break. Constant telegraphy because it's like somebody knew what the fuck they were doing. Like, oh god, I'd get capitalized like so hard on that. Oof. All right, let's try Antonov. Okay, it begins. Ooh, <laughs> fucking crazy punches and shit. This guy is crazy, bro. Oh god, Antonov. Fucking the grappler guy. The god. Look how hunchy he is. Oh shit. Buddy Rio. Rio's pretty good too. And by that I mean fresh square, but like, yo, this guy's got a fucking, oh, he's got a super me. Oh, he's got super armor on his fucking attacks and shit. Oh, this guy is a problem. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, I just had to. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be, uh, that's almost not fair, it's a little one-sided at that point. Fucking Antino! Fucking Super Armor and shit! God, how have I not used this guy earlier? Fuck. I just gave myself another main. I love grappler types. Fucking from the school of Potemkin, here I come! Oh, damn. He took multiple for that? Okay. Fucking oh, hell. Like, the sweeps are, like, bad for him. I understand. Oh! Fuck. Oh! I'm sorry! I had to put him in the ground! Oh, fucking Antonov, bro! I can see why this guy's the champ right now! Holy fuck. Oh, he's definitely gonna be a fucking problem, bro. Oh. My god. Let's go again. That was a still a good match. Still a good match. Fucking, I was just surprised that this dude Antonov has a very safe move that could be used uh, defensively to be on the attack. Mm. I, I, I gotta practice more with Isla too, cause I, I want to get to know like how, how to use her like um, freaking keep away moves a bit better. Fucking, cause she's got like the she got the freaking glass move. She's got freaking that. Mm. Like the thing is like she excels at like mid to like high range. Someone gets close to her, she might not have that many options. And then like spamming square, but you know that's like obvious. Mm. Fucking hell. Return of the Isla, okay, with the fucking grabs and shit. Uh. Mein Gott. Mein Gott. Alright, come on. Let's try out Ken. Oh, okay. Can Juza overcome the hands? Oh my goodness. Ooh. The thing is, like, that move is... Oh! And it does, like, a decent chunk of damage. Well, I mean, most of these moves do a decent chunk of damage, not gonna lie. Ow! See, if you hit me with that... Oh, God. You gonna get revenge for, like, earlier. Fuck. Glad! Oh! Fucking hell. It never works out. <laughs> oh, I thought I had a chance to get a go for a double. But okay. Good fight, good fight, good fight. Okay. About to hit him with the sleepy May Tenkun. Got to get hit with like the freaking, uh, uh, what do you call it? The fucking Wing Chun moves. Ow. You can put the slap slippers off me. Try grab. Oh. Fucking okay, once again, if anything fails, use your head. Fucking May Ten Kun. Got a knockout. He's like, oh fam. This shit tired me out. Uh, wake up, sleepy head. We got another battle to fight. Mm. Fucking Terry, let's go. Mm. Scary Terry. 
Ooh. Ouch. Throw with the kicks. Oh shit, here we go. Ow! Ah, fuck, it didn't work out. Ah, he's like, my turn! Ah! Take fucking that! Ow! Ah! Ow! Big meaty damage! Fuck, I need more fucking points. Shit. The thing is, like, for this dude, uh, does he have a parry of some sort? Is he like a Leroy type? Mm. From, like, uh, attacking? Ooh, ouch. With the fucking cross up? Ooh, there we go. Ow. Ouchie. Ooh, there we go. Mm, grab that. Ow! Oh! Ow! Fucking the crack shoot for the win! Mm. So there's a max mode in this, huh? I gotta, I gotta check that out. All right, it's time to take out my pocket, Terry. Mm. Ow! Kind of forgot that I could also use like the fucking um, what is it, the meteor smash? Or there's some other move that I could use that helps. Ow! Ow! Mm. Here we go. Oh! Forgot to do that other move. <gasps> fucking burn! Mm. It was still a good match, though, fucking he can knock down like two of my other characters. Had to fight him with the other character that I have like a decent amount of like uh, experience with. You know, other than mash and square and shit, but like, yeah. Eh, it was something. Good match. Let's go for another one. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's try this out. Hmm. All right, a third match. Uh, hmm. Gonna go Antonov, K, and freaking Rio. Okay. This is the the fucking uh, reigning king shit right here. Uh, I'm gonna use Antonov the second one. I'm gonna try to go for like Rio normally. I think he saw my mitten coon and he's like, you know what? I gotta try it. Hmm. You lurk. It's about to be a party up in here. K, K, K. Gonna use K dash for the last one. It's gonna be the pocket K dash. It's the one where <laughs> don't really have much, um, you know, like, I guess time using it at the moment. Still trying to get used to like some of his other properties and these moves in this game. But uh, yeah, all right, let's fight here. Back to South Town Beach. Another old place. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. Ow. Ouchie. Ooh. Big meaty damage. Fucking Kenshi Pukyot! Oh, there we go. Ouch. Gotta be away. Do the keep away shit. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Ouchie. He's waiting for him. Okay. He's doing the defense thing too. He's waiting for me to like fucking come in. Oh, we're at a standstill. His controller might have disconnected. Okay. Back to normal standard shit. Let's go. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm wondering, like, oh, is he pausing, like, for dramatic effect? Or is he trying to get me to, like, fucking do something? Because, uh, like, a part of me would want to, like, rush forward, but then I understand he's probably, like, setting me up to do some other bullshit. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Let's go for another match. Another round. Another ronde. Okay. Gotta bust out the white haired Cronin. Let's go. Alright. Give me a sec. We keep having some disconnection issues, but uh, we could probably just like reset that other match. We had like an issue before, but fuck. Uh, he had to like run out for a bit, so I'm just gonna start fighting some more randos over here, trying out a little bit more of the intimate fights and shit like that that we could get into with other people on the online that probably know more about me in this thing. So uh, let's fucking go. Let's give it a fucking college try. Got a couple more matches in me. We could probably do this. Let's fucking run through it, baby. Ooh, okay. All right. Mm. Ah. Okay. I think this guy knows already that I'm like trying to do some bullshit. Mm. Ah. Okay, so he definitely knows I'm trying to do that fucking special shit. Ooh. Anytime I even try to fucking jump, he's hitting me with the anti air. All right, I'm strong enough. Not fast enough! Yo, yeah, oh, so Okay. Doing like a couple more. Uh, 
There we go. Swim justice. Uh, I gotta, I gotta stop, like fucking feeling like, uh, it's like, good, cause this guy might hit me with a fucking like Cronin out of nowhere. This Cronin looks intimidating as hell. Who knows? He might be decent with it. And I still have yet to understand the mystery that is this character. Uh, not like move wise. I'm talking about like freaking like story wise. Like what the fuck he's doing here? But uh, yeah, come on. Oh, oh no. Envious of those cargo pants though. Where can I cop those? Ew. Ugh! Get the fade! Oh shit! Whoa shit! Oh no, there's another. He's hitting me with those flames. Ah, there we go. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that auto combo shit is making him mad. Okay. Okay, okay. here we go. Fucking red glove, red glitter hand. Gonna catch you red-handed, literally. Ooh, ow, ooh. Okay, nothing like a wake-up square auto combo to another wake-up square auto combo. Ain't that the worst? I'm trying to teach him, like, yo, it's a bad idea to just, like, throw out moves like that, because then this happens! Ooh. Oh, God! Oh, God, I am pretty sure he's upset about that shit. Oh. The flame will burn brightly! But the jab will still prevail! Uh, this is too okay. Good fight, though. It, it, it was a good try. Uh, fuck Jesus. I gotta... <laughs> freaking hell. I wish I knew, like, some decent combos with this real guy other than, like, spamming square. Like, oh, man. This is, uh, this is the extent that we're at right now. For now. Hmm. Okay. I mean, he deserves the run back for sure. Uh, it's good courtesy. That was that was a little that was another one-sided match, but I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure they'll improve. Just give them a bit. <laughs> so they get conjured up because of those. Um, what is it? The cans, huh? I don't know if it's like the graffiti can specifically that's giving her the powers, or she's just able to use some type of like power that allows them to show up, and she just does that for dramatic effect. Because you know. Some of these uh, characters can be like pretty extra. Ooh. 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 Big meaty damage with Rio. Oh. Oh no. Fucking that one attack that travels down. It's like, oh, uh, you can squirrel all you want, but it's not gonna be enough sometimes. When all you have is a jump move. I really tried to do that jump, but they're expecting that. I gotta fucking stop. Oh no! This working! It shouldn't work like this, but it does! He's capitalizing! Good, 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 good! Good, good. He's learning his lesson. He realizes, like, yo, I gotta get him the fuck out of here. Okay. Alright, see me with my K then. You've, you've beaten the sub boss. Here comes the other sub boss. Mm. Ouchie! Uh, well, um. There was an attempt. Okay, uh, let's, let's let's try the third character. You know, he, pro probably he'll be a little bit better with his Cronin. Might give me a fight again. He realizes that I'm like fucking just like pressing one button. I'm probably in trouble. Mm. Good lord. Ow. Ouchie. Mm. That's a really good move to just like close the distance, and it's like I think it like deals like multiple hits too. Ooh. Shit, I can sort of do that too with my fucking move. The thing is, like, I need to get carried forward in order for it to be effective. So, uh, yeah, dealing with that. Gonna pull that Eric Andre and try to get in. Get in those guts! Oh. Okay. Two out of three. I can do probably one more match. Come on! Bring it on! Mm. Okay. Alright. Decent. Let's see where this goes. Mm. Okay. Good, 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 good. Mm. It's like, I'm trying without having to, like, rely on the auto combo, and it's, like, a little bit difficult, because it's, like, every other move or so is an auto combo, and it's, like, damn, alright, how do... 
How the fuck do we do this? Hmm. Shit. Yeah, I see the invite. I'm gonna join. Just uh, hmm. let me see if I can like get through this real quick. Hmm. Okay. Woo! Oh my! He's going through. Oh! He's going in. The charge kick. What a great fight! Hmm. Man, Good shit, bro. Great match. Great match. Great match. Great match. Great match. Mm. That was a little, uh, little bit of clenching, but it was all right. Mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. Mm. Let me see. Check out the menu. Let me respond to that invite real quick. I'll be seeing you, cuz. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Mm. All right. Let me join. All right. Give it a sec. Bro, oh, shouldn't take too long. All right, yeah. Back in the lobby, or back in the saddle. Let's go. Okay. Yep, I'm Reggie. I'm Reggie. Okay. Let's do this. All right, uh, hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. These three. Going in with the power of the boom. All right, uh, going in with freaking uh, Isla, Maiten Kun, and uh, Blue Mary. So uh, yeah, he's he's not gonna expect me to like be decent with Blue Mary because <laughs> I'm not. But like, fuck it, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something now. Uh, might as well try to experiment and whatnot. Like if he can just like if he gets past my sleepy Maiten, I'm gonna be in trouble. <laughs> The training stage is like perfect, but that's like some try hard shit. Uh, let's go with uh, Pow Pow. Yeah. Uh huh. Another one like the good old fashioned Pow Pow Cafe. Yeah. Decent place. Drinks are pretty good too. They're pretty cheap. You'll have fun there. If only they could do something about this loading time, huh? Mm, there we are. Hey, let's get it. Oh! Right. Oh. oh, so that's how you throw. Okay. Alright, cool. Mm. Ouch. Mm -mm. Ah. There he goes. Like the two auto combos into a throw, probably, perhaps. Depends. Mm. Tried to do go for the sweep, but it didn't go through. Mm. What the hell is in that pillow? Yo. These games are like hilarious when it comes to like how these teenage characters are somehow holding their own with like seasoned veterans that are like in their late 20s or so. My goodness. The power of Vigia, I tell ya. Oh my god. Mm. Fucking shit. I wish I knew how to do the power dunk right now. Oh, wait. Okay, so it's like up and down. It's like. Yeah, it's just like. Oh fuck. I just haven't had time to like use it right now. Hmm. Okay. Purple Rio. All right. Let's go. And that Dan shit, Dan fan. He's a really good Dan player in Street Fighter. You should see my cousin play. Oh my goodness. Fucking Luke the Menace video out now. Check that shit out. Oh my god. Mm. Fucking wake up moves. Ooh. The cross ups. Oh. Oh, Lord. Ooh. We go for the oh yes straight kick. Ooh. It, he knew that like the coke was a short range move. It does more damage when you're in front. Oh, damn! It was gonna hit me with that fucking other move that would have been like fucking bad for me. Oh, this the sweep. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh. damn. I would have been like mad hype if I got it with like the fucking air pillow attack. Like oh my goodness. All right here we go. Goff Isla, loving the color scheme. Fabulous. Ooh. All right, let's go with the fucking, the fucking hands, hand game, on point, attacking from a distance. Mm. Okay, uh, we got maybe one more. Let's see his K, purple K, purple rain, about a rain fire up in here. Mm. Hopefully, I can do my best to try to like keep away, away with you. Mm. Ouch. Oh lord. Oh, you can do a kick off of that. Uh oh. Ouchie. Oh god, here he comes! Oh no! Hit him with the spray. Oh lord. 
Oh, wow, that's a pretty cool special, but damn. Oh, that fucking spray! You could have used it to tag someone up or something up. Jesus Christ, you're an artist, right? You gotta be careful how many of those you have. Gotta work with the tools that you have, I suppose. Damn, it was like one stop away from like this being 69. Count. Oh, uh. Fuck, Eastland, those telekinetic hands. Oh god, what kind of power is that? Oh boy, let's try that again. I really have to work on the whole Isla combo into super thing. Well, other than like mashing square, I know there's a way that you can do it where I can like super cancel one auto combo into another auto combo and it ends in the fucking super. All right, here comes my Antonov this time. This is a, uh, ooh, careful level. Oh. Okay, I think he understands this time. Don't get in front of Antonov. You better hit. Hard. Uh, the thing is, like, a lot of my moves are getting punished. I gotta chill with that. Because like, if I get close, it's gonna be a problem for him. But if he knows how to, like, fucking attack me with, like, the special moves and shit like that, I'm gonna be in trouble. Mm. Uh-oh. He knows the grabs. Ooh, he knows the grabs. Oh! Oh, here we go. Oh! Well done. Oh, well done. Fucking, uh... I get hit me with them goddamn reads. Oh, God. Downloaded me like I was a playbook. All right, time for the sleepy maiden. Gonna hit you with those wake up attacks. My fucking pillow does more damage than most people's fists for some reason. Mm. Oh, oh. He blocked all that with the last hit. What the fuck? Like, yo, that move is so dumb. <laughs> ah. Power Wing Chun, I guess. Mm. Ouchie. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Really trying with the cross up and shit. Oh, that would have left me like right in front of him to like. Uh, a lot of his moves carry him forward. I could use that to my advantage if I knew what the fuck I was doing. What makes it good? Mm. Ooh. Ah, the fucking kicks. Oh, Lord. Uh Shit. My Maytan isn't feeling so good. Oh god. Might overpower me this time with his real. Mm. Here we go. Did I try not make it so obvious? Oh. Mm. Okay. Every single time. Fucking try to do something dumb. He's capitalizing on that. It's good. I see the improvement. The improvement is there. You're doing great, cuz. Oh. Oh god. Gotta stop with the mashing square. I'm a bad habit person having of that too. So I gotta chill with that. Oh, oh lord. Mm. The thing is, like, any time it's even like funny, like I can just fucking just go for the sweep or uh, fucking go for the whole shoken. Mm. Mm. There we go. Ooh. Ouchie! Oh, oh, so good. Ah, ah, there's another one. Oh lord. That's so dumb. Oh. Here's what that's supposed to look like. That was a fucking power blow, let me tell you. And then when that shit happens twice, it's like, oh, that's so dumb. Oh, I am so sorry. Full A hell. All right, he's got his K. I've got my fucking Rio. Let's do this. Ooh. Gonna try to go for like the wake up attack again. He's doing damage from like the knees. Gotta go for the knees. Yeah, I noticed not so many people are attacking for like with low attacks. That's uh, that's dangerous. Cause like I I, I try to go for like the low punch, right? And it's like when he sees that, he just like capitalizes. And I'm like, fuck. Okay, I gotta I gotta I gotta bait it out somehow. Then I gotta like play defensively, keep it on neutral. Cause like when I get too close, he capitalizes. He sees that I whiff moves, and then like. Fucking hits me with that bullshit. <laughs> ah, a well deserved W. Ah, victory smiles upon you today, my dude. Mm. Oh, you want to switch your character? Okay, yeah, we could do that. Uh, hold on, I got some other team setups that I wanted to try. 
Fuck, if only I had the chance to use Angel. Oh, what the fuck am I talking about? She's like one of the most complicated characters to use in KOM. I'm good on that. Uh, hmm, yeah, I'm gonna just go with May 10, Isla, and Terry. MTT! Mm. MIT? Yeah, MIT! The smart group! The smart group! Yeah, let's go with that one. Fucking okay, he's ready. Oh damn, Cronin Blue and Terry, okay. Uh, new Fatal Fury body too? Okay. Mm. That is absolutely okay. Uh, let's see. Pow Pow! Go for the Pow Pow Cafe. Cause I gotta get some more Henny in that system before going in. Mm. Okay. So, uh, in this case, I'm expecting to probably, like, maybe try doing a little bit more zoning type moves with May 10. Because, uh, my fucking May 10 needs some work, as you can see. Oh, she has a brunette color scheme? Hey, not bad. Shit. Kind of reminds me of Jill Valentine. Oh, alright, uh, shit. I can just get in. Ooh, you mind if I can just, just give you this pillow real quick? Oh, time to pillow talk! Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh, that. No. Oh, okay. Fuck. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Going in with this. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. I really tried it. I should have. Oh, hold that. All right. Um. Going in with the punch. Oh. Uh, she has another kick. Oh. Oh, my God. Ooh. Oh. Yo. I could have fucking capitalized right there. Ooh. No. Shit. Oh. Yo. Ow. Okay. Oh. Cross up game crazy. Well, I wouldn't call it a cross up game, but I was like. That was, was a little uh, excruciating. It could have gone either way. Hmm. Right round two. That hit me with that fucking Cronin. Okay. Gonna make that chroma! Oh! Oh no! Oh! That fucking blade move of his is kind of dangerous! Bradley, when he take the fucking get! Oh! I did not see that coming! I did not see that! Oh lord! Fucking... Yo, these day one Cronins, bro, let me tell you. Okay, it's all fun and games so they whoop out the gat like yo! Okay. I have to fucking breeze all over the place, do lots of damage from behind the screen. Oh, I am so sorry, guys! Oh! That shit is crazy, man. How people do, like, fucking special moves that do a lot of damage. Ugh. KOF, everything does damage, bro. I mean, I guess this is one way of, like, fucking... I wouldn't call it, like, a nerf or anything like that, but it's, like, how uh, competitive balance is done. Since I think, in my opinion, I think uh, KLF is a lot more uh, aggressive compared to Street Fighter. Mm, I was trying to go for like the fucking ending crack shoot. Mm. Ah, there we go. Okay, nobody knows about the crack shoot except the people that use crack shoot. Okay, time for his Terry. Let's go. Hey, Terry, oh, Terry. Oh. It's only customary to respond to a block crack shoot with a burn knuckle. Mm. Whoa. Ow! Damn, I'm really getting my ass beat here! Ooh, can I go through? Okay. Got the anti air crack shoots. Ah, fuck. Give me a mile. We still got like maybe. Oh, oh shit. It's Isla. Come on, let's try to get a win out of this one. Ooh, praying to God. Ooh, what? Mm, okay. Okay, what's the zone and what goes in? What do we do? Oh, if he gets in somehow and does damage, I am in big trouble. I gotta do the best I can to fucking make sure that they are somewhere in medium range. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh my goodness. I am so sorry. Oh, that's the super, I think. Yeah, that's the special move. These two know how to rumble. Fucking hell, Isla! <sighs> yeah, so of course, we gotta sub to our OnlyFans. Uh, let's see, where is the next battle? Alright, let's go in one more time. One more team, one more time. Well, plenty of other times anyway, but like, I would like to have another battle. Because we are probably, eh, 
I don't know. It's uh, it's getting a little bit late during the time of this recording. So uh, let's see if we can probably uh, cap this one leg match off right here, helping him uh, understand the inner mechanics of KOF and how to press square competitively. Okay, I'm telling you that if they could just get rid of those like auto combos, it would be like so much better. But I understand people do this for like, you know, the casual people that want to get into the game. They see all the flashy combos and they're like, wow, that looks so cool. How do you do that? And it's like, oh, I just press X. He's like, okay, what do you do next? And then he's like, I press square. He's like, all right, cool, what do you do next? And then he's like, I press square again. And then uh, maybe uh, two more times I press square and then probably uh, press X and circle to roll and then complete the circle again. I'm telling you, man, it's like a circle. Ooh. Ain't no squares in that circle. He fucking dodged the wing chun kicks, but forgot the last one, which was the pillow. It's it's always the pillow. The pillow talking is is, is commencing. Okay, oh shit, here we go, Cronin. Oh god, time to pucker myself up. Hopefully, I don't get knocked down. Is it sleepy time for May Ten Coon, or is Cronin gonna pull holes in this guy's chest? Oh my lord. Fucking activating the perks and shit. Oh my goodness. Got the Zans. Oh, oh lord. Yo, I am serious, my dude, May Tenkun, because I know that, like, the constant, like, sleepiness is probably indicative of something relating to, like, your pituitary glands, or also, like, uh, I don't think he looks like the type to, like, suffer from diabetes, but it's like, eh, you kind of have to get that checked out, uh, to a doctor, you know, other than the fact that you just got, like, shot several times in the face by Cronin, but, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, the other Cronin will come through and, like, uh, uh, repay that favor in kind. Oh shit, okay. Uh, my Cronin isn't that good. Uh, I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. Fuck it, why not? Um, mm. Oh my lord. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna try the best to like go through with like some of these hitting hits. Okay. Alright. Oh shit, yeah. Definitely better at it than me. Oh god, okay. Let me try that. Okay. Wow, it does that much damage? Holy shit. No wonder that shit's crazy. Mm. Oh shit. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Oh, he fucked! No! Oh god, the fucking kicks. There was like another hit there. Oh, it was like this close. Maybe we have like enough for like maybe one more round. If I could just carry it to like another round. Oh lord. Damn. I was not expecting to fucking hit with that. Oh lord. God damn it. There goes Terry with his freaking relentless assaults. Oh, that's supposed to hold people in place? I did not expect that. Okay, so wait. Does, does this character, like, trap people then? Because, like, if he could do that, then that could be, like, pretty dangerous. Oh, shit. Mm. Ah, the fucking emergency kick. Let's go. All right, cuz. Oh, shit. It's time for freaking Blue Mary. Oh, no. Oh, oh I don't think he knows that. I don't know how to use her that much. Fuck it. Uh, maybe if I, like, pretend to do, like, a couple moves, you might think that it's, like, decent. Ugh. All right, here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, no. You're not supposed to hit your bay like that. Oh. Leave it be. Come on, if I can get, like, one or two more hits in. Oh. Damn it. No, he got the combo off instead. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 I, I see you with the punches. But, like, uh, I want to try to hit back, but then, like... He's got plus frames! Uh, is it plus or minus? Fucking minus frames? Ugh. Whatever frames those are. The, the ones that make it hit better. Aw, oh, shit. Ugh. Eh, might as well, like, take the L. Ah! Yeah, I'm gonna have to sleep on that one. Hey. Good match, bro. Good match, good match, good match. Quick it. Who? Quickly learned how to properly use like some of the characters defensively now. This was amazing. Let's go try it out with some more characters. God, I wish how there was a little bit more diversity in like who we could choose to play as and stuff. Oh, that'd be great. Hmm. Okay. Yes, back in the room, back in the saddle, back in the back, in the back, in the back. Let's do a couple more rounds of some world fighting. Okay, for this one, I think I'm gonna try out. Hmm, let's see, there's Cronin, Blue Mary, and uh, okay, let's go with the other one. Hmm, all right, Antonov. Uh, I mean, he would be a good pick, but uh, I think I like freaking uh, Isla a little bit better. Go with uh, uh, hmm, this style right here. Hmm, 
I haven't tried that color yet. I think. I don't know. I like that color. Uh, the other ones are like pretty okay too, but uh, I just enjoy this one a bit more. Waiting on him now. All right, cool. Oh, still trying the Cronin thing. Okay, Blue Mary and Isla. Okay, he's I'm gonna switch. Oh, okay, he's switching it up. He's like, all right, I don't want to try the Cronin or Cronin thing again. It's gonna be a little one-sided. Yeah, he's gonna pick the Cronin, gonna leave it for like the mid-weight right there. He could probably like carry the team a little bit. Things are uh, not going so well. So I'm gonna try out. Uh, Mm, yeah, the beach seems nice. Okay, let's see what you got. Let me see that Cronin, all right, fight with the white K. Let's go. Now, now that I like, I realize I like the red color scheme a little bit more better. I'm not sure it reminds me of the, I know there's a character that's dressed like that though. Oh. Okay. Marching on with those boots. I gotta like keep them in place somehow with that move. Oh, okay, good. And if I keep going with like that, mm, okay, there we go, meaty damage. Oh, good. Well, I'm gonna work for him too. Oh, try to. Mm. Okay, now I'm starting to realize that that shit is stupid. Okay. Mm. Oh no, Eddie with the fucking super. I didn't. Don't really need to do that. <sighs> okay, that happens. Mm. All right, here we go. Let's see that other Cronin of his. He's got the blonde hair. Mm. Okay. Shit. This can go really bad for me because then when he starts getting in with his moves, that'll be even worse. Ooh. What I need to understand is that like you can't necessarily just like <laughs> rely on one move to just like get shit done. Cause then like he fucking just starts styling on me with that fucking shit. Oh, the thing, okay. I didn't know that that freaking like carried him backwards though. Okay, so you can use that to like get in and out. If he needed to. Mm. The thing is like right now I'm just like freaking trying to rely on like pressing square, but it's like, not just about pressing square. It's about pressing triangle and occasionally other moves, which helps. Mm. Okay, come on, Isla, make up for this. Mm. Okay, the last thing I want to do is like have it rely on like Blue Mary, because if that happens, then I'm in trouble. Mm. Oh god, yep. Shit, he's going in. That defensive play is good though, he's just watching, very patient, waiting for an opportune time to strike. Still trying to go for like the rush down Isla right now. Okay. Mm. It's the fucking jabs for me! Oh. Fucking hell. Oh! If I knew how to like somehow use that one move that allows me to grab people, he would be in trouble if he tried to do that shit, or if he kept doing that shit. Fuck, here comes his Terry! Ooh, nothing to slouch at! Really going in with that Terry! Off to a great start! Fucking just sent her back to 2015! Good lord. Okay, fucking Tuka hopefully play on that game, if I get it in, oh, there we are, okay, it's my turn, okay, fucking there goes like most of his health, shit, now this is just like the fucking neutral game right here, okay, if I could stop spamming that one move, it would probably help a little bit more, but yo, that fucking like, uh, air spray tech, the hairspray tech is crazy. I just noticed she's dressed a lot like Miku. Well, not dressed like Miku, but she's got that like weird Miku Hatsune color scheme thing going on. Uh, okay. Well, that was another match, I suppose. Ugh. That was something. All right, let's go for another battle. Uh, I gotta have, you know, the, the good old-fashioned best of three, especially when you get into a room like this. Has to be done Boy, the proper way. All right, let's do this. Boy! Just had to burn knuckle at the start. The only other way to, like, freaking uh, match that is with another burn knuckle. Fucking hell. Like, anytime I get, like, too close to the way to the screen, I gotta get close. Gotta let him know, like, yo, if I wanted to, I could get, like, right in front. I gotta keep freaking, like, uh, controlling the space uh, in front of the screen. It's all about space control at this point. Try to force him into that corner. He's gonna feel pressured, and then I just lay on 
with the hits. Oof. Shit. I mean, like, there are times where, like, I have some alacrity of, like, what the fuck I'm doing. Because, like, most of the time, like, when I'm, when I'm doing these particular moves, it's, like, because I know fucking the Terry specials and shit. But then it's, like, when, when it comes to, like, getting, like, certain jabs done and shit like that, I usually, like, readily get it to, like, press and square and all that. But, like, someone who knows their shit is definitely going to, like, not really approve of that sort of thing, which is kind of, like, what leads to, like, the skill ceiling for this game being a little bit lowered. It's not really all it's cracked up to be in that instance. That's why a lot of people need to just like, you know, understand like the, the moveset of the character, get good reads in, because like technically people shouldn't be able to do like fucking like combos into like the power guys or like that. But I am just going fucking mm, ham with that shit. Ham and cheese sandwich. Oh, I am so sorry, cuz. God. Okay. I am. I, I, I was not playing around those two fucking battles, alright? Time for his Terry. I gotta be a little bit more defensive because I understand, like, if he wanted to, he could just fucking rush me down. And, and if I fall for that, then I'm gonna fucking, like, have trouble. Because then, like, my, my freaking, like, uh, my Isla is. I mean, she's somewhat capable, but it's like she does a lot of, like, keep away moves and all that. You're gonna walk into the bulk of my move. Mm. Okay. That's the thing, those guard cancels are helping. If he could just like, if he understood that like, if I, if I got a fucking, mm, there we go. The wake up fucking like, rising tackle. Do that too, but like, oh shit. Damn it, okay, if I just like chill. No, he didn't have to do that. Oh, unsafe, there we go. Capitalized on my mistake, good. He understands, I whiff a move, you punish. Perfect, okay. Uh, now it's time for my Isla and my keep away game. I have to press triangle a little bit more. The thing is, like, that, that's a very unsafe move that does, like, so little damage. But over time, if I keep hitting with those moves, it does more damage than you expect. Because then you, you get hit, like, four or five times. And, like, there goes your fucking health. See what I mean? Like, the fucking, like, the cross-up fucking attack right there. Like, uh... Bringing another victory, Isla, baby. My god. That's still a great match, though. He's definitely getting better with Terry. This guy, his Terry. I know if he, if he keeps at it, he can definitely be a problem for someone. Okay, time to switch. I'm about to hit with the May. I'm about to hit with the fucking Rio. Ah, Blue Mary, let's go. Okay, haven't tried this color yet. Going through the phase. There we go, Isla. Let me try that. Mm, this color right here. And then, uh, hmm, should I go with May 10? Okay, yeah, K is fine. K is fine. I'm gonna go with, uh, hmm, I don't think I've tried, uh, mm, yeah. Uh, it's a mix between these two. I'm gonna go with this color scheme. Yup. Okay. So I got K, Mary, and Isla. Mary, Isla, K. Okay. So he knows, like, Isla is a headache. Mm hmm. Mary Isla K. If he goes with like fucking Rio, he's gonna be. Oh god, okay. Plus to do mirrors with Isla. Okay. I'm telling you, she's 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 decent. She's she's pretty decent. Nothing will stop this show. I wish I knew like more combos with Isla, but like, yeah, she's she's okay. She's alright. She's got a couple moves here and there that could be quite the headache for people. So, um, yeah. Let's go into what might be our final round. Okay, I'm getting kind of tired. I might tell him to like wrap it up after this one. Yeah. Okay, let's fucking go. Ooh, okay. Yes. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh my. Ooh. Oh my. It's the mirrors to me. Okay, we're all blocking. Okay. Good. Fabulous. Ooh, okay. That synchronicity is fucking scary. Mm. Okay, he understands, like, freaking me just, like, attacking the slow but steady stream of hits. Because he understands, like, if I fucking use that, like, color move, it's gonna be a problem, but yeah. Mm. Okay. Time for his May 10. Oh, shit, here we go. About to hit me with the freaking uh, wing and chun kicks and shit. Oh, gotta watch out for that pillow. That freaking, when he starts hitting me with the pillow talk, that's gonna be a problem. Oh god, here it comes. Oh. Ooh. Oh damn, I mistimed that one. Oh no! Here it goes! Oh! Pillow talk! Oh. Fuck, okay. Let me try again. The fucking drop kick with the freaking air. Come on. 
Top fight against him. You get hit with air spray kicks. Oh, Lord. He powered through that? Damn, I didn't know he was that strong. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. I think he tried to go for the jump, but it's like, my that Isla, that move of hers has so much, like, rage. I, I get, like, Mitsuru from Persona 4 Arena vibes from that attack. Because it's just literally a circle of damage. A giant medium length circle of damage. And then I can like throw that fucking move right there. I can just like bait him out with the fucking like uh speed. And then like he gets close. And I can freaking go for like the specials and whatnot. If I knew how to grab with Isla, that would be cool. But like I don't know how to grab right now. Fuck! No! Oh! Gotta stay away! Oh! Stay away! Oh! Okay! Keep away! No! Not too close! Not too close! Ooh! I can somehow get this done. Oh no! Fucking hell saved my life! Oh no, he's Ah! Gosh darn it! Uh, well, nothing to do now but just whip out the pocket K. <laughs> okay. Uh, charge kicks. Oh no! <laughs> of course. Gotta charge. You gotta answer that kick with a kick. It's 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 courtesy, but. There we go, another charge kick. Yeah. Oh! Oh no. Oh! It's always the sweeps! People forget about the sweeps! K has a sweep, that's crazy. But yeah, dude! That was another good match. Uh, fucking Jesus Christ, bro. We gotta do this again sometime, guys. Thank you so much for watching these vids. Uh, this was fantastic. Love the matches. Uh, yeah, this was my uh, my impromptu uh, recording session uh, slash training uh, beta type playthrough type thing for uh, King of Fighters 15. Uh, hopefully, you know, you've seen a lot of some of the jank that this game has. Uh, I, I wouldn't really call it jank, but like a lot of moves do a lot, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. So uh, yeah, SNK, if you see this stuff, please change a couple things here and there. You've already seen some of the bogus moves that like auto combo can do. If like they could find some way to make auto combo do less damage than doing the actual combo themselves, that would be freaking amazing. I had like one or two fighters fucking like cancel the fuck out of me when it came to like uh, doing like actual combo moves instead of auto combo moves. But yeah, compared to like, you know, two novices like duking it out, it looks like it could be like very interesting. You know, there's like some flashiness involved here and there, but then like you're going to start seeing a little bit more uh, mix up so like some of the same like moves being like repeated over and over again but over time that stuff changes uh like everything else uh i'm still very excited for this game i can't wait to sink my teeth into it when the full game comes out pretty soon as of the time of this recording uh it'll probably be like a couple weeks until after it comes out so uh yeah dude i am so excited for this game uh if you guys want to see anything else go check out infamous ludwin at youtube.com slash infamous ludwin want to see more of me stay tuned here youtube.com slash gene alcantara you see you like this uh you want to see more of this stuff support me on patreon patreon.com slash shadow kusanagi all right into the next one this expectation has definitely been shattered but i'm still freaking hyped for the next battle stay tuned